Hey, what's up, guys? Gonna wait one second here. Yeah, it's working. All righty. Gotta let some people jump on here, and we're gonna chat about what's gonna happen tonight here. Okie dokie. Uh, yep, got it. Yep, got it. All right, guys. So, here's what is going to happen tonight. Um, usually, when we have severe weather, Nick or I were at the station. Uh, these are going to come in such late night, and I don't really think we have a tornado threat. We have a uh, wind threat, but we don't really have a tornado threat. So, we are going to get home. Ha -ha. But we are going to be streaming from home as these work into the area. These are still a little bit a ways away, but I'm going to kind of break down what we are going to see as we go through the overnight hours. Because I know a lot of you guys don't want to stay up and watch storms. Uh, you want to go to bed, so I'm going to kind of... Let you guys know where the big big boys are going to be. But uh, when I get home, I'm going to change, relax, um, and then I'm going to probably start to stream a little bit later as these storms start to work in. Nick as well, and we'll push the social media if need be. All right, so let's see. Dow, is there anything else you had to... You didn't have to tape anything, did you? No. Oh, you're just marking the mics. Uh, yeah, just marking some mics. Marking mics. All right, so let's see. Let's... Take a look and see what's going on. Most of us are not under a severe thunderstorm watch. Northern counties are. So we're looking uh, from north of Fort Scott, Pleasanton, Mound City, Iola, Garnett, Burlington, Yates Center, down towards Chanute, Eureka. And then you can see the numerous severe thunderstorm warnings that we are seeing with this line of storms. We have nothing right now. We still got a little ways to go um, until these guys get in. But these are, they're pretty intense. We can... Uh, you can you can see this line has come together. It was two separate lines. There was one out across central Kansas, one out across eastern Kansas, and these have come together over the past uh, couple hours. So let's let's look and see what's going on now, and then we'll kind of see what's going to happen as we get into the rest of the overnight hours. Up toward Kansas City, thunderstorms are developing on the north side, uh, North Kansas City, up toward Platte City, Platte Woods, uh, non-severe, but this is an intense bow here. So Topeka into Douglas County, uh, where Lawrence is, Eudora. Uh, so this is a wind maker. So this guy's clocking some pretty intense winds. And then you can see it's gonna push into Ottawa. So this part of the line is moving east. So kind of, let's see here, let's do this. Kind of a east, southeast. And then with this bow, because you can see how this curvature, this is where winds like to push out. I don't wanna go that way. This will kind of force that line to start shoving a little bit farther south as we get through the next few hours. And then what's mainly going to affect us is this part of the storm that is out toward Emporia. What worries me a little bit is as the second cluster gets into Marion and over toward Emporia, North Wichita, it may start getting some bowing stretch structures like we are seeing over here we call it a bow because it looks like a bow and arrow so it curves out and that's where we get those strong winds of 70 to 80 miles per hour so we need to watch that as this section of the storm gets in so you can see our northwestern counties it's still a ways away but this is going to be a little bit of a loud night all right so let's go ahead and see what could happen first off remember these are model projections there is not a model out there that is correct they give you an idea of what can happen and to be real honest the models have been kind of uh, crappy tonight so we are going to see how they hold up as we go through the next few hours all right so here's 12 a.m. some storms sneaking into our northern counties and here comes well but this model and I think I'm using the her on this one um, wants to pick up on a Boeing structure that kind of goes through Yates Center into Chanute Iola so this is 2 a.m. Now the HER always runs slow, so instead of 2 a.m., I expect this to be 1 a.m. So this is what I expect it to look like at about one o'clock in the morning. But if we get that Boeing structure, we're gonna have some, some wind issues, Yates Center, Iola, Chanute, Fredonia, and Neotisha. As it progresses southeast, 
it really weakens. So let's back this up a little bit. So 230, still kind of getting a Boeing structure from Parsons up toward Fort Scott. Once it gets into Pittsburgh, it really starts to weaken. We may still have some severe thunderstorm warnings trying to pop up once they get down into Crawford County. Now we're at 3 o'clock in the morning. By the time they get to Joplin Metro, we're talking 3.30 or 4, which because the model's slow, let's say 2.30 or 3. So the Joplin Metro, 2.30 or 3 o'clock in the morning, but they should be greatly weakening by this point in time. And then I think by 3.30, 4 o'clock we're just going to have scattered showers and thunderstorms and we don't really have to worry about anything severe but maybe over the next few hours we may have a section that we have to deal with some wind and hail if you live in northeastern oklahoma most of the severe weather will stay to your north um just some scattered thunderstorms if you live in northwest arkansas prob probably hardly even a drop if you live in southwest missouri south of i-44 uh, some scattered thunderstorms after 3 a.m., probably not severe. But southeast Kansas, southwest Missouri, north of I-44, that's what we got to watch as we go through the next few hours. So I'm kind of trying to break it down for you. Let's see here. Let me glance through a few of you guys' comments. Uh, hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, da -da -da -da. Mm -hmm -hmm. A lot of you guys have anxiety. I know a lot of people get anxiety with storms. Um, Travis, I kind of just went through the breakdown. I hope you got to see that. It looks like Nevada's kind of in that eh, one to two ish, one to two ish or so. All right, so yeah, a little bit of a late night. I got to get up and I got to drive to Kansas City in the morning. I got to go to my pain management doctor for my migraine. So not too happy about that, but I do have Nick tonight. So if I get too tired, I can just make him do it. So, um, but we we're gonna be we're gonna head home here pretty soon kind of relax for a bit and then we'll start streaming on these storms so if you guys do get concerned after midnight check in somebody will be on one of us will be on streaming all right guys i hope you're having a good night